Alright guys, I'm going to be making a video here to show you how you can use any size uh, hard drive in your uh, Mustang. That's what I have. Uh, probably anything that has my Ford Touch, uh, this will work in. Um, but so I got right here uh, one of my old laptop hard drives. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus for you. Of course it doesn't want to focus. Let's see. Um, it's a 250 gig hard drive. Pulled it out of an old laptop. Um, went and picked this up at the local computer store. It's just a enclosure for a laptop hard drive. Put it in like so, and then it allowed me to plug it into the car. The problem is uh, you have to format it in FAT32 in most... Uh, Anytime you use a Windows computer, it won't allow you to format anything over 32 gigs in FAT32 format, which is what the, the My4 Touch needs to read. Um, but what you can do is, um, you can use a piece of software, I'll leave a link in the description below, um, but it's called uh, FAT32 format. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and open that up. And then um, you're gonna go up here and you're gonna select whatever drive you want. I have this thumb drive in there. It's under 32 gigs, but it won't matter if you use something bigger. Um, so I'm just gonna select that jump drive. We're gonna click OK. Gonna select the allocated partition here. And then we're gonna go ahead and name it. Let's do Mustang. All right, and this one's gonna default to FAT32 because it's under 32 gigs. If it's over 32 gigs, it'll still give you the option to format it in FAT32. So we will go ahead and click Start. It's gonna start formatting the drive. Anything larger than 32 gigs is gonna take quite a while. Um, my 250 gig hard drive took just about two hours to do a full format on it. So if you're looking to do 500 gigs a terabyte even it's going to take a long time so just be prepared for the wait but once you do that you can just drag and drop all your files onto it just like you would any other thumb drive and then uh, I'll take this out and uh, show you in my car go ahead and put this together All right, so we're going up to my car now. All right, you're gonna have to excuse the mess in my glove box. I got quite a bunch of trap and crap in here. All right. So, we got my uh, USB port here in the center console. We'll go ahead and turn on uh, my stereo here. I'm going to set the phone down just for a second. Alright, so I'll just show you again. We have here... Come on, focus, you stupid thing. There it goes. So my 250 gig hard drive and uh, my My4 Touch here. So we're going to go ahead We're going to go ahead and plug this in. As you can see, the light turns on there. So we'll go ahead and select entertainment. Going to go ahead and select the USB hard disk. It's going to sit down here, and it takes a while to do the indexing and building the voice commands and all that, but we'll sit here for a second. Um, I'll bring you back on once we're uh, once we're online. All right, and we're back. It's been about probably uh, three to five minutes for it to fully index uh, the whole hard drive in here, and it's going to sit right down in here, not take up any room. And uh, so, as you can see, I've gotten uh, 2,038 songs um, available on my USB hard drive, um, and I mean it can go. The sky's the limit, really. From what 
All right, sorry about that, it cut away. Um, you can do about two terabytes uh, for maximum, actual maximum for FAT32. But uh, really, if you can just find an old hard drive that you got laying around in an old laptop or something, uh, 250 gigs for me is gonna be more than enough for my whole music library. Um, but yeah, I'm up over 200 songs on this. Um, it just sits right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. It just sits right in the bottom of my glove box with the cover on it. Never even know it's there. And uh, got a huge music selection. Uh, all my own personal collection at any time.